Maybe we're talking about congruent triangles, which if you remember means one triangle fits exactly onto the other because they have the same size and the same shape. And we use the symbol exactly equal to for congruency. And we've said before that congruency, we're looking at triangles and remembering prior information of Euclidean geometry. So we've talked about the four cases of congruency, but now we want to look at specifically the case where we have two angles and a side. So let's have a look at an exercise where you get to decide if the triangles are congruent or not, and if they are, you should give the case. So here's the information that's provided. We have a very busy looking picture. They say that AD and FC are equal. AD and FC are equal. Angle C is equal to angle D, AE and DF, AE and DF are perpendicular, FB and AC are perpendicular. So we've been given a lot of information. The first thing that we know is that AD is equal to FC. Let's fill that in onto the picture. The second thing that we know is that angle C and angle D are equal. Well, let's fill that in onto the picture. And then the next thing that we know is that we have been given perpendicular information which means that E1 is 90 degrees and B2 is 90 degrees. Both E1 and E2 are 90 and B1 and B2 are also each equal to 90 but E1 and B2 help us because they are inside the triangles that we are talking about. So it looks like we have three sets of information. Does that mean our triangles are congruent. Well, let's try and write it up and see. Our statements and our reasons and our two triangles, A, D, E, F, C, B. Firstly, we know that A, D and F, C are equal because that was given. We know that C and D are equal because it was given. Notice how I've tried to keep the information about triangle D, A, D, E on one side. So instead of saying C is equal to D, I'm saying D is equal to C because C is in the second triangle and D is in the first. And then I know that E1 and B2 are both equal to 90 because they have talked about perpendicular lines. So the triangles are congruent perhaps. And if so, which case? Is it because you've got a right angle and a hypotenuse? No, because you don't have another side. You have an angle. So this is the case of side, one side, and two angles. Okay, the side is opposite the 90 degree and an angle. Let's have a look at another exercise. Are the triangles congruent or not? And if they are, give the case. Okay, so we've got a very busy looking picture again. We've got triangle ABC with BD equal to FC. FC and B1 equal to C1 and the question is are the triangles congruent? So let's have a look at what is given and write about it. Remember this is just our workings to figure it out. BD is equal to FC. Let's mark those off. BD is equal to FC. I think we might have to change and turn this picture around a bit to fit onto that. We'll just have to maybe swing it. I don't know. And then they've said that B1 is equal to C1. Let's mark those off. Right, they've given us two pieces of information that were easy. The third one we have to think about. Using your prior geometry, there's no common sides. What about vertically opposite angles? Those are the two easy suspects to look for. Yes, we know that F1 and F2 are equal. So let's mark them off. There we go. So are the two triangles congruent? Well, it looks like we've got an angle-angle side. But let's just quickly compare the two triangles. In the one triangle, we've got BD, and in the other one, we've got FC. Now, if you look in the first triangle, DBF, DB is opposite F1. And F1 and F2 are equal. But in the second triangle, e, in triangle ECF, FC, which is the one that's equal to BD, is opposite E2. And it's supposed to be opposite F2. In other words, these triangles are not going to fit because the sides that are equal are not the matching or corresponding sides. And so the triangles are not congruent.